Hello friends, greeting for the day. Today we will be continuing further with the alignment option here. In my last tutorial I told you about the alignment of the values within the cell using the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. Now today we will be going ahead with the orientation, wrap text and margin center which will be again as a part of alignment itself on the home tab. Now let us consider a sample information here which contains some labels, some column headings with certain data inside that. Now this option where we try to do it is orientation. Now this orientation allows you to create or align your text diagonally or maybe to a certain desired angle which you can define custom. Now let's look at these options how this can help you. So now the very first thing what you must do is select the particular cell which you want this alignment to be applied to. So select that cell. Now today I'm selecting the name field here where you can drop down and select the first option that's called as angular orientation. Now this orientation allows the text in the field to be aligned diagonally by default to a degree of 45 degrees. That is a default option where you can always customize it to whatever you need. I can always switch it to other side maybe minus 45 or maybe 90 plus 45 which can be somewhere around 105. So say this way and yes it can be. Now this is just to add some extra effects or maybe to save the space on the column names. But it might take you somewhere out so make a wise decision to define the size of the cell. Now to avoid this where my alignment is taking the name, the value outside the cell, I can also prefer to have some different orientation, maybe vertical text up. Now yes team, now you can see that I can see only two letters of it whereas the cell contains the whole value. So maybe I need to expand it a little more and then I can see everything. Now I am free to resize it and bring it back to the minimum length required or minimum width required to have it on this page. Similarly I can work it out on the age field as well where I can try with vertical text up which you just saw. Maybe I can also rotate text up which will allow you to have a readable format where sometime people find it difficult to read each letter and follow one below the other and it takes time for a user or maybe end user to understand finally what is that label. So we can also prefer to have something like this which can be vertically aligned but having a proper uh, convention to be read by any user. Similarly maybe let's go for gender as well and I can turn it around by 90 degrees where you can see something like this. So these are the different orientations which you can have in this option. There's another option which is called as format cell alignment which allows you to define your custom degree of orientation. Now when we say custom degree of orientation it simply means that you can define your own degree of orientation. Now I have selected here the cell gender and then moved to the format cell options where the tab selected is alignment and let me define my custom degree of in orientation which is set to 62 or maybe let me mention manually to minus 60 which you can see here and say ok. Now you would see that it is not basically the one which I created earlier what was at 45 this is at 60 and as I'm using a negative degree of inclination it is moving towards the left but if I go with a positive degree of inclination it will take me towards right. So let's go with positive of this one where I switch it to plus 60 and say ok it's on the right now. So I can now shrink the size to a little small but again you have possibilities of moving this outside as you can see the cell moving towards right leaning towards right so that takes it out of the coverage area or it might be you know moving to another one. So preferably what we would recommend at the end of the day to have it rotate text up which can be within the cell and gives you the most appropriate option to uh, shrink your cells to the most. Now 
we have another option which is called as wrap text and margin center now let's have a look on what exactly these stand for say for example I'm creating a quick table which contains uh, values like maybe serial number the description then maybe the data or uh, steps involved now this is just a sample data which we you know can having any kind of any kind of understanding or maybe I can just say quantity here now as you see I have a specific width defined to each column and here the serial number fits fine description the last letter n is not visible just because I entered a value in data and then steps involved is again not visible say at certain point of time you have a restriction to increase the width of the cell then what you can do is as you cannot go to increase your width rather you can increase your height so what I mean to say is going it in the vertical way down so let's put it back to here and that can be done very well with the wrap text so select the cell to which you want to apply and click on wrap text now wrap text has been applied as I just did it manually it is not taking it automatically so I need to increase it again now here you can see that the steps involved is quite visible pretty well now for just one letter I can double click on this and have the complete text visible with the appropriate space required for this text to be displayed now that's what your wrap text can help you with or if you wish to mention any more content for example description this content is uh, required for today now when I do these kind of things I can go with wrap text again and you can see auto adjust within the same cell with the same width but not the same height the height will be customized based on the content what you have mentioned because it is limited to the width the reason is usually you print these papers on the A4 sheets and you have a restriction on the number of columns to be printed within the same sheet so you always go with increasing the height of it rather than increasing the width which might take the columns out of the sheet now the merge and center allows you to have a common heading for two columns let's take another example here you might have heard of like some of the calculations which has a common heading for example I can say I have a power supply where I can measure two parameters of it input and output but the power supply stands for common to both of them so you can just select both the cells which with respect to input and output for the heading power supply and then by keeping them selected click on merge and center now this merge basically the both the cells and creates it as one particular cell at any point of time if you wish to get the cells back like you want to unmerge it you have the options here unmerge cells which will bring the text back to the initial position and you can get the two cells back there are also certain options which will allow you to just merge across or merge cells now merge across and merge cells have a difference let's have a look here now when you look at this one where I've selected number of cells in the same row or number of columns number of cells in the same column now here if I just go with merge across this will merge the cells but not align the text to the center whereas the previous option will also align the text to the center now let's have a look here maybe I mention a value here say power supply and try to merge it but instead of using merge and center let's use it as merge across now you can see that the text is aligned left by default it just merged manually whereas when I move to merge and center then it will basically uh, put it into center by default so let's select these two cells and go with merge and center and the text is also aligned to the center so that's another option but 
what if you want to go with merging a particular number of rows and columns together like an array so when you do it with for an array or maybe a range then you go with the third option which is called as merge cells across so let's go with this and yes you have it here so when you want to go with number of cells in the same row number of cells in the same column you go with merge across whereas when you go with number of rows number of columns together merge cells okay so that's what is about the alignment block we learned today about orientation wrap text merge and center hope you enjoyed the video and definitely learned something new today do comment your queries, doubts, clarifications below so that I can get back to you with more details on the same and get it clarified. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel to get latest updates on the new videos about basic excels and advance. To get notified, do not forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you team for watching the video. Happy learning.